Hi, and welcome to Cover Genie Pro, professional cover design made easy. The great thing about Cover Genie Pro is that it is a designed to be a delicate balance between simplicity and yet having the powerful features of Photoshop. So what I'm going to do in this video is that I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily come up with your first cover design right away, even if you have no design or prior technical skills whatsoever. So what you're seeing now is that this is a dashboard and I'm using pretty much a demo account. So I have already created one design here so far and from the looks of it, it might seem as if it took me quite some time to get there. But I'm going to show you how you can reproduce something similar or in fact something better in as quickly as just a few minutes. So let's get started. First of all, click on create new project. So normally you're prompted with two options here, either a blank template or you can use a ready-made design that we already have built in into your Cover Genie Pro account. So if you're using a deluxe version of Cover Genie Pro, you can expect to see more choices over here. All right. Now, I recommend using a design template if this is your first time using Cover Genie Pro. Otherwise, if you're familiar with it already or you consider yourself somewhat advanced or you're creative, you can go ahead and start on a blank template. All right. So for example purposes, we're going to start with using an existing design template. So next thing is your prompt with another choice, which is to choose a cover type. The great thing about Cover Genie Pro is that you're presented with actually a total of 150 3D cover models like what you're seeing right now. And they are pretty much categorized for your convenience all on the left side of the menu. So you have any different box, books, reports, disk to even complex packaging, bundles, and resting more cups. So you can see that there's quite some choices that you can make. It's totally up to you. But bear in mind that the moment you choose your cover type and hit next, and you can't change the template already. So if you want to have another cover type, you have to create a new one. Okay? So for demonstration purpose, I'm just going to show you. All right, I'm just going to take one of the boxes over here. I think this one looks good. Let, let's take the flat box. All right? If you select it, click on it, and you see that there's a tick over here, and then click on the next step. Now you get to choose any design that you want that's already pre-built for this particular template. So you can see there's quite a few pages that you can choose from. And we have all this built in ready-made for you. And don't worry, just because that they are pre-made in such a way, you can actually edit the text, the font, the backgrounds, images whatsoever. So you know, I'm just going to click on the first one, since it's quite obvious, and uh, click on the next step. Give it a moment, and Cover Genie Pro will build this thing for you. But first of all, you have to give the project a name. So I'm just going to make one up right now, and call it Test Box. Bear in mind that however you title this, and later when you export and save this image as a 3D cover on your computer, this will be the exact name. So you might want to be a little bit mindful in the way you name it. If you plan to use it on your website whatsoever, it's best not to have a spacing in the title. So I'm just going to call it test underscore box. All right. And you get what I mean afterwards. So, okay. The template has already been done for you and you can start editing. You can see that there is this guide here called top flat front and even the spine for your uh, design guidance. And when you click on this words or fonts over here, you see that you can actually edit the text. Click again and you can start editing. You can select the whole thing. And here's another amazing thing about Cover Genie Pro that's better than most other contemporary solutions out there. Most, if not all, other online cover design apps do not allow you to actually use shortcut keys. But in Cover Genie Pro, you have uh, the ability to have shortcut keys like uh, delete, uh, cursory up, down, left, right, whatsoever. And we really included the full list of shortcut keys in uh, the help. Okay, so you can refer to the shortcut keys that will help ed editing a lot easier. So I'm just going to make one up right now. I think I love the title the way it is right now. So I'm just going to click on John Doe and replace it with my own name. Okay, I can select the whole thing by pressing Ctrl A. And I can change the font as well. Let's just say I use Avo. All right. Let's just say this is what I want, and I'm gonna just change the font size. I can make it bold or unbold, italic, underline. Okay. I can even change the font color so you can see that there's a color picker over here. Okay. 
but I like white the way it is right now. So okay, this is pretty awesome. You can even have a gradient effect if you want to. That's how amazing this is. Okay, I think I'll just leave the gradient effect. Uh, I'll just put it in here, so you can see that um, that's somewhere you can read. You can even have the direction of the effect of the text. Okay, you can even adjust the opacity. But I love it at 100%. So okay, we'll just leave it be. And if you want to move or rotate the layer, okay, we call it objects in Power Genie Pro. You can actually rotate it. You see that there's this little thing sticking out here. That that helps you rotate the, the object at any direction whatsoever or at any angle. So okay, we'll just have it line straight. Okay, this looks good. If you want to add any text whatsoever, you can click on any options on the left okay, you can add text, you have image, background, elements which I'll get into more detail in other videos but just know that these are the basics of using Cover Genie Pro that's how easy it is and there are quite some options up here like you can zoom in out, uh, zoom reset you can even undo and redo your editing and just a heads up Control Z or Command Z and Command Y, Control Y actually works okay I'll be going through more of this uh, somewhat uh, a little bit more detailed in other videos but just know that the, this is what you can pretty much do with cover genie pro it's a lot flexible than most people think and this is the great thing about cover genie pro that's how easy it is so if you like making the changes right now don't forget to save every now and then just click save and give it a while so that you do not lose your uh, editing work okay you get a, a heads up on that and that's pretty much all there is to it so if you want to learn more about the potential of using Cover Genie Pro, I'll be seeing you in the other videos.